Assalamualaikum and hello to Dr. Imran. So today, I, Melissa Marzuki, and my lab partner, Nurul Dalilah Samdin, will be doing Lab 3, which consists of an experiment of capacitors. So in this experiment, we will want to know what is actually a capacitor. So here in this slide that I will show you, that I am already showing, is a picture full of capacitors in it. So what is actually a capacitor? So a capacitor is a passive two-terminal electrical component used to store energy. So capacitors has a variety form, but mostly contain at least two conductor plates separated by a dielectric, which is an insulator. So a dielectric can be glass, ceramic, plastic film, air, paper, mica, or many more because it is an insulator. So we can use any kind of insulator for the capacitor. So the purpose of the dielectric is to actually increase the capacitor's charge capacity. So the objective for this experiment is the first thing is introduce the concept of capacitor. So the second objective is to determine the value of capacitance of series and parallel. And the third one is to understand the charging and the discharging process of a capacitor. Next, I will show you the experiment that will be Next, I will show you the next I will show you the experiment that we will be doing for today. <laughs> so first things first, we will be constructing the circuit. So as you can see here in the screen, I have already constructed the first circuit for figure 1. So here we have a voltage of 15 volt, a resistor with a 1 mega ohm, two capacitors which capacitor 1 consists of a 7 microfarad and the second one is 10 microfarad. So now, as you can see, this is arranged in series form. So now I will run the circuit to get the voltage for each capacitors. So for capacitor 1, we have 7.5 voltage. Capacitor 2, we have 7.492 voltage. Stop the circuit. So this is the circuit in figure 2. We will do the same thing. So we will put the multimeter across two capacitors. So we can read the voltage across two capacitors. So this is arranged in parallel form as you can see. So we will need to find the time constant for figure 1 and figure 2. And now I will get the voltage across these capacitors. So we will run the circuit. Check. And we get 14.985 voltage. Stop the circuit. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Danila Binti Samdin. So today I will explain about the circuit in part B for lab 3 which is charging and discharging circuit. Okay, first we construct the circuit as shown in figure 3. For the first question, uh, we want to calculate the RC time constant of the circuit. So, um, uh, formula for the time constant is P sum dengan RC. So, the resistor is 1 mega ohm V times to 47 microfarad. And we get 47, 47 seconds for the time constant. Okay, next, for the next question, uh, we have to record the voltage drop across the capacitor for first to five time constant. Okay, first for 47 seconds, we get 9.245 volt. And then for uh, 94 seconds, we get 12.869 volt. And then for 181 seconds, we get... 14.205 volt. Next, for 188 seconds, we get um 14.704 volt. And lastly, for uh, 235 seconds, we get 14.882 volt. 